Hi everyone, a very warm welcome to my channel and to another grocery haul. I'm a bit of a mess today, I do apologise. I've just got back from town and oh, it's a bit windy and oh, yeah, I'm a bit of a mess, a bit windswept, but let's look past that. So I hope you are all really well. If this is the first time you've seen me, hello and welcome. My name is Leanne. I am a mum of two boys. We are a family of four and I'm on the Slimming World plan. So I do our shopping with the family in mind and with Slimming World in mind. Obviously with the rest of the family not being on Slimming World, I have bought products in this shop that I haven't bought for me and that I haven't bought with Slimming World in mind. If you are happy to see those, then I have included information about Sins where I can. Unfortunately, I haven't had time this week to sit and put all the prices on. I do apologize. If I had done that, I wouldn't have got this video up for quite a while i think it would have been towards the end of the week so i thought i'd put this one up without the prices next week i do have a massive aldi haul and i will put the prices on that but for this week i did a tesco click and collect and then a small aldi top up the reason i did the tesco one was because there were a few branded products that i wanted and i got an email from tesco's and they had some super good deals on their club card deals on particularly on meats and so I ended up just doing a bit of a click and collect. I will put the total spend for both shops on at the end. I don't think this was the most sensible way to do my shopping. I did end up in our local co-op a few times over the course of the week because of things I'd forgotten. And it was just a bit of a headache, to be honest. I would rather do more of a bulkier shop, even just twice a week, just without all the extra ones. There was nothing, I didn't include the co-op shops in, in this haul because there wasn't anything interesting to see. It was literally just the odd items here and there. But yeah, I have definitely noticed a bit of a price war though. Tesco's were slightly more competitive than normal. I still think that Aldi overall is better value for money at the moment. But if you're after some branded products, I would definitely have a little look on Tesco's and see what they're offering because they do seem more competitive. And I would say that they do appear to be cheaper than Sainsbury's at the moment. So if you have both stores in your area, just worth having a look online before you go shopping and just see where the cheapest place is for the products. But I definitely see that Tesco's are trying to um, reduce their prices a little bit and help people out that shop there. So that's really good news. So hopefully that continues. So with all that said, let's get into the haul. So this is our Tesco Click and Connect order. I've picked up some meats and fish. They had really good offers on the club card pricing this week. So I got some diced chicken breast. I don't normally buy diced chicken breast, but it was quite a good price for the grammage. I got some salmon fillets. I actually didn't order these. I ordered some sweet chili ones that were on offer and they didn't have any. So this was a substitution, but that's absolutely fine. I've got some lean 5% fat beef mints for like a curried mince or something and some lean diced beef, which I'm gonna make a bit of a casserole with. I'll pop it in the slow cooker with some gravy stock carrots and um, onion and peas and then i'll pop that with some potatoes which are here i've got my little helper with me if you see another little hand on the screen <laughs> and so i've got some um maris piper potatoes they were also on a club cod offer then over here i've got some pie jokes got an awful lot of cereal so i've got four boxes of the tesco multigrain hoops that's because i'm not shopping at tesco's anymore regularly so my children absolutely love the Tesco multigrain hoops. So I've bought four boxes to keep us going for a little while while I'm shopping in Aldi in between. Got some bananas because we are going through so many bananas in this house at the moment. Some easy peelers. I must say the easy peelers from Aldi last week are incredibly sour. So um, the kids weren't keen. So I've tried these ones this week. Um, I've got a Hearty Food Co garlic baguette. As my five-year-old has been asking for garlic bread. I think this is about two sins. I think it's two sins per slice. I probably won't have any, um, but yeah, my husband and my children will. I've got some red onions, some peppers. So I've got three red peppers. They were also on offer. Got some yakults because we all like to have one of these throughout this time of year just to help with our immune systems. Some frubes. These were on offer. These are for the kids. They generally have them in their lunch boxes, don't you, Harry? Yeah. Some roasting farm blueberries. These are an Aldi price match. I got two of those because we're going through a lot of them. Some sweet vine ripened tomatoes. They were also on a club card offer. Some carrots just to get us through the weekend. I'm going to make a chicken curry tomorrow night with the chicken and I'll use some carrots with that. Some 10% broccoli. Oh, 
which was on an amazing deal. I think it was about 89 pence a pack. So I've got two packs of that. Two bags of the frozen fine whole green beans because they are just the best from Tesco's. So while we're in Tesco's, I thought I'd stock up. And then some milk. I've got some semi-skimmed for the family and some whole milk for me. For semi-skimmed milk, you can have 250 mils as a healthy extra A. And for whole milk, you can have 200 mils as a healthy extra A. Got some choco malt wheats. These are actually for me. I just really fancied them. And you can have 40 grams of these as a healthy extra B choice on Slimming World. And some malt wheats. These are for the kids. They absolutely love them. You can also have 40 grams of these as a healthy extra B choice. And you can actually, you can also have 40 grams of these as a healthy extra B choice. I would never have them. I've never taken them away from my kids. But you can if you want to. So I got some crinkle cut pickles with hot red chilli. If you've been following me for a while, you will know I love these and I couldn't go to Tesco's and not pick a jar up. So I've got a jar of those. I've got two tins of this Baxter's Vegetarian Mediterranean, Baxter's Vegetarian Mediterranean Tomato Soup. I used to crave this so much when I was pregnant and I just thought I haven't had it for so long. It's not cheap. I think it's about £1.70 a tin. But I just, I really just was craving it, to be honest. And it's one sin for the whole tin on Slimming World. So good to keep in the cupboard just for those days when you need something super quick. Um, what are they? Party rings. Party rings, yeah. Mini these are the mini. these are the mini bags, which we put in Alfie's lunchbox, don't we, every Friday. Oh. And they are 83 calories per bag, or four sins a bag. Um, but these aren't for me. These are for my youngest. Then I found these. I had no idea that Tesco sold these. I was searching for something else and they popped up and I couldn't believe it. So they're Skinny Crunch Light Bars. They are three Sims per bar, both flavours, or two bars for a healthy extra B choice, which is amazing. This is the Salted Caramel one and this is the Raspberry and White Chocolate. I can't wait to try them. I was really excited to see these. Had no clue they were in Tesco. So... Yeah, I had to pick both boxes up. They were a pound a box. Then we got some Robinson squash. This is the double strength. It's just our favourite one. So because it was on offer, we picked that up. And then I accidentally picked up the Vimto. Um, I didn't mean to actually have this one in my trolley, but my husband loves it. So it's raspberry, orange and passion fruit flavour. Then we got some Kalo veggie cakes. Again, if you followed me for a while, you may know I love these. They taste, honestly, just like pickled onion monster munch, in my opinion. Honestly, they really do. They're two sins per cake. And yeah, they are very, very addictive. I did speak to one of my lovely followers who said that they sprinkled, they crushed one up and sprinkled it on top of the salad, which is a really lovely idea. So yeah, got those. I got some Orzo. This is the Tesco finest one because it was my only option it's just that I've seen this in group so much the last couple of weeks and yeah I just I, I just keep seeing it everywhere so I thought I've got to buy some I'm not sure when I'm going to use it but it will stay in the cupboard I might put it in like some sort of homemade soup and some Truvia sweeteners and my husband's sweeteners he just has the Truvia one so I had to get them from Tesco's and then I got some tea so I've got another box of the Yorkshire tea we will just put it down here darling Yorkshire tea bedtime brew I love this it's decaf so I can have it at night time and it's a vanilla and nutmeg flavor and I just really love it I put milk with it and it was on offer in Tesco's then I also found the Tesco finest vanilla chai and I just thought that sounded really really nice it's warming spices and sweet vanilla and with it being October now autumn I just thought oh, I've got to try it and obviously these are sim free on Simming World and then you just count the milk as your healthy extra then I found some Muller Light chocolate fix. Now I got the white chocolate ones a couple of weeks ago and I'll be honest with you, I wasn't blown away by them. But then I saw chocolate orange flavour and I thought, yes, I've got to try those. So they are 70, 77 calories per pot or four sins per pot. They're not very big, but they are enough by the looks of it. So yeah, I cannot wait to try those. I've got some fudges, some mini fudges, because they're all everywhere at the moment, aren't they? Because of Halloween. And these were on offer, and we've already opened them, haven't we? Because we always do when we buy chocolate. So these are three sins a bar. And then last of all, got some sea salt. And this is something I really never buy. The last time I bought sea salt was in our old house, which was over two years ago. 
so we really don't go through very much but yes yeah, saxa that's right um so yeah that is everything that we've bought from tesco's so it's monday night and i've just popped to aldi just to get the last few bits that i didn't get in our tesco shop and it is night time so it is dark so i am sorry for any glare on the packets and i'm also not feeling very well so i might sound a little bit miserable <laughs> but i will try so i've got two packets of mamia sensitive wipes a block of <laughs> oh dear it's not going well is it let's try again a block of medium cheddar you can have 30 grams of that as a healthy extra a choice in sim world some royal gala apples these were really good last week really really enjoyed these some sable sable grapes they really didn't have much fruit and veg tonight there was no raspberries no there was no berries at all and these are the only grapes i could get I know they're the slightly more premium ones. Some carrots, some semi skin milk, some bananas, some more of these cherry cola spiral lollies. We have two left in the freezer, but I thought I would just grab another box because they are slowly getting rid of all their rice lollies out of the freezer and replacing it with like Christmas party food and things. So I thought I'd just get some just to keep in the freezer because while well, they're there, it, would, it makes sense. Some homestyle chips, some reduced sugar and salt tomato ketchup. We never tried this one before, so interested to try that. Some honey roast ham for um, packed lunches. Two crispy chickens and tempura batter. These are the bird's eye ones. Some snack raisins, the kids' lunch boxes. I've got some of these snack right cheese and onion and some cheese curls for packed lunches. Some broccoli, some oregano. Some of this Greek style honey yogurt, this is for my husband for the week. Some breadsticks for the kids, they like to snack on these after school. Two loaves of both in one bread, these are for the rest of the family, I don't eat these. Four vanilla protein yogurts, these are one and a half sins each and I use these most days in my breakfast with some kind of cereal, usually overnight oats. Some mixed nuts for my husband to snack on and two packets of pasta and that is everything that i bought from aldi this week so that was everything that i bought for our family for the week thank you as always so so much for watching and hopefully i'll see you in the next one bye guys